I have some tips and tricks about the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra to share with you, so let's jump right into it. The first tip is how to increase your battery longevity. We all know that this device supports 45 watt charging. While some people may not agree with this, if you really want to increase your tablet's battery longevity, you can either completely forget about the 45 watt charger and instead use an older 15 watt charger so you don't have to even buy a 45 watt charger so you can save some money, or use the 45 watt charger only from time to time when you really have to. Even if you use a 25 watt charger, it's still better than using a 45 watt charger over the long haul. The battery is a crucial part of your device and because of that I have another tip to increase the battery longevity. And the best and easiest way to do this is to go to the settings, then battery and device care and then battery on top, and then more battery settings. At the bottom turn on protect battery and then you're good to go. This way your tablet will always only charge to 85% and after that the charging will stop automatically. So by doing this you can even plug in your tablet overnight and not be worried about damaging the battery. Malwares are everywhere. It's not just your PC that can become affected. Here's how to protect your device from these malwares. Again go to settings, then battery and device gear, and device protection. I've already turned it on so there is no toggle here for me, but there will be a toggle so just turn it on. The next tip is how to run the diagnostics on your device and you can find it either in the Samsung Members app or in the same place as before under the battery and device care. Now if you want to you can only test certain features or run a complete test and it's one of the easiest ways to find if something's wrong with your device. You may be someone who's constantly on the move and saving every bit of battery is really important to you then the most important thing you need to take care of is the display settings. By default, your tablet has adaptive brightness on, but to make sure in the settings under, this, under the display menu, check that the adaptive brightness toggle is on. But let's say you actually have to use the 100% brightness and you want to turn off the adaptive bright, uh, this brightness. In that case, make sure the dark mode is on as in this scenario, it can actually extend the battery life. Another great way to increase the battery life is to change the display refresh rate from 120 Hz to 60 Hz. Sure, you'll lose some motion smoothness, but trust me, it's worth it. And you can always turn it back on. To do that, under the display menu, select motion smoothness, and then choose the standard mode. If you press and hold the side button, it'll probably activate the Bixby. If you want to turn off or restart your device, you should hold the side button and the down volume key at the same time. You can of course have access to it in the quick panel or notification panel. And then if you want to change it, just select side key settings. And here you can change the side press button to show the power off menu. Now here's a tip I can't believe some of these reviewers don't know yet. We obviously know that we can attach the S Pen to the back of the device like so. However, did you know that you can also do the same thing up here, but it won't charge the S Pen and you need to make sure that the, the pen, the tip of the pen is actually pointing towards the cameras. Otherwise, uh, it might fall actually, it's not that strong, you can feel it. But that's not all, you can also do the same thing on this side, this, if you're uh, holding it, the device like this, which makes sense to have it also in here. Your tablet has a great feature where you can increase the amount of RAM by converting some of your internal storage to virtual RAM. Don't worry though, this is reversible at any time, just go to the settings, then battery and device gear, and then select memory and then RAM plus. Funny thing is that your device is already using four gigabytes of your internal storage as virtual memory, but it can use up to eight gigabytes. And you may ask, when do I need this feature? And the answer is if you use multitasking a lot, especially when using Samsung DeX. In other words, if you use your tablet as a laptop or a computer replacement, then you'll benefit from this the most. Your tablet is running on Android, which means there's a lot of tweaking that you can do. But some of those are hidden. If you want to see all of those, you need to turn on the developer mode. And to do that, go to the settings and under the about tablet menu, select software information and tap seven times on the build number to activate the developer mode. Then you'll see a developer options added to the settings at the very end. Just be careful what you do here there's a reason this is hidden by default, so don't just randomly toggle things on and off. But if you're a gamer, there's a setting I highly recommend you try it out, and that is to turn on Wi-Fi safe mode. This way you're prioritizing Wi-Fi stability over performance, which is very important for online gaming. Just remember to turn it off when you're done, or just leave it on, 
if that's what you want. All right, moving on to the next tip, but before that, remember to like and subscribe. Now, we all love the notch on our new tablet, right? No, I'm just kidding, nobody likes it. And here I am, for example, in the sketchbook app, and as you can see, the notch is actually cutting off the icon here, so it's kind of in the way. So to get rid of that, all you need to do is to go to the settings and then display, and then right here in the full screen apps, as you can see, you can actually hide the camera cutouts. So I'm gonna go find my app, which was the sketchbook, and then select hide camera cutout. Then if I go back, ta-da, I don't have it anymore. And I think it's really, really cool to have this feature. For some people, it might be very crucial even to not have that in the way. So hope you enjoyed it. And here's my bonus tip for you guys. I noticed that some apps, when you change the orientation of the device, don't really scale that well or they don't appear to be the right way to show the content. For example, when I'm in the landscape mode and I open the YouTube Studio app, I really don't want it to be like this. If I hold it in the portrait mode, it shows me the right way or it shows me the way I want it to, to be, but not in the landscape mode. And to fix that, all I need to do is to go back to the settings and then you need to go to the advanced features and then labs auto rotate apps i'm gonna go all the way to find my app which is youtube studio app and choose full screen so if i go back as you can see now it's showing in the full screen mode that's all folks hope you liked it see you in the next one